Hello everybody, this is Muffy from Muffy Reborn Nursery and I'm back with another Faza Spanos baby and her name is Kayla. I would have had her sooner off of Makari but she was there and I was, she actually costed a lot of money and the time I was trying to gather my coins to get her, just like that, by the snap of a finger, she was gone. So she was there one minute and she was gone the next. But can you, I mean, you can't really blame the person for getting her. I mean, because she is a collectible now. You cannot get too much of these dolls anymore. So, you know, you try your best to hurry up and grab and go. And look, I mean, just look at the vinyl. Look at how she paints the babies. And I mean, over all these years, um, it, it just held up so lovely. She is in her original outfit that she has on. Because in the photos, her original photos, it shows this outfit. So it is original. I can tell that over the years, you know, and it's due to just to age that the the elastic part of it that keeps it kind of scrunched up is gone. I could tell when I took her out of the box that all of this elastic is just gone. So I might put this one, I'll put her outfit up, um, but I might have to put her in a newer outfit. Maybe something newer that's vintage, maybe something more up to date in style i'm not sure but whatever outfit that i can find that speaks to her i will put it on her um as you can see um she does have all of her lashes no chipping you know of any type of paint no scuff marks i mean the only thing that i see that is you know a little bit questionable is her you know her hairdo kind of it's frizzy and the curls didn't hold up so well but i mean even with that it's still beautiful her earrings are still in and there are a little bent <laughs> but i didn't care about that she still have all her lashes and i mean look at that expression on her face and her two little teeth that's so cute and you know most of their hands are in different positions but I have a few phases um, that actually have this position of their hands and this is her original tag and as you open it up some of them are gold some of them are this you know light burgundy color with the actual um, artist name on it and when you open it up but this one it came from a store called the toy store and you can actually see the price from way back in the day where it was that it was $325. And her name is Kate. It presents her name right here. But also, um, I have her, the seller actually packed her um, certificate. And it says her name, as you can see. And she is 217 of a thousand made. Um, dated of the year 1994 and here is the artist's actual um, signature right there but yeah they packed that I, it wasn't an original box but they packed it you know pretty decent and it came pretty fast and I did get it off of eBay and it was a wonderful price to get it at I was just so shocked that you know that particular baby didn't go as fast as the one that I saw on Magari because she was cheap and you know people are such a stickler for you know miss you know imperfections so um they will skip past but honey I can reassure you even with the small imperfections her they held up wonderfully and I'm just, I kept seeing other people in videos have her. And I was like, oh my, I want a Kayla of my own. And finally, my opportunity came. And here I am presenting my baby to y'all. Oh my goodness. Just look at those blush on those feet. They're so pretty. I mean, 
I never seen such one before. I'm just addicted to getting her babies and they're so big. So I'm trying to find spaces to really put her, you know, the babies at, you know, to uh, pretty much keep them keep them because you know and not to say they're taking up a lot of room but i mean they do take up some space because they are the ones that i am getting are the toddler dolls so they are pretty good in size now for changing our outfit i'm trying to figure out because there's no size in it because it was custom to the doll i'm trying to figure out what size to really get her because i want to put her in a pretty dress and i'm going to find that dress um and uh change out her outfit and she has full you could say up to the almost close up to the shoulder arms so she can you know i can be a little bit have more wiggle room for uh outfit wise because i have um i i have a, in particular um baby that actually has i think it's called the three-fourth i think arms and it's more cloth and then a little piece of the hand and a little piece of arm. But it's not as much as this full. I call this a full arm. Almost pretty much. With the little piece of the shoulder cloth. But I mean everything that I see is in wonderful shape. I mean if there is a mark. I believe they had it uh, on one of the feet. I don't know. I think I saw in the video um, one of her feet had a little mark. Which is probably right here. I didn't care. I can pro I know how to get that out. Um, the staining in the vinyl, I have learned how to get that out uh, through searching on the internet and YouTube. Actually, one other channel, I forgot the name of the channel right off the bat, um, about staining in the vinyl and how to get it out. But overall, I'm very pleased to have her in my collection. Uh, I am looking for... A another Faza Spanos doll that she did came twice on eBay. Her name, uh, well, she doesn't have in particular name, but they name her Peppermint. And she comes and goes pretty fast. But I'm just hoping, just like I had ran into Kayla, that I will, will run into her again and I will be able to get her. But I appreciate y'all coming and actually seeing my beautiful baby. I have another doll with this same exact hairstyle kind of you can say with the two curly pigtails and the curls that's in the front hers a little bit more well i think it's three of them that has this hairstyle but different expressions in the face so overall i just i just love her i'm just absolutely in love and i will find her something beautiful to wear to compliment her and I just appreciate y'all coming by and viewing any of my babies. And I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe. And I will be definitely back. Definitely. <laughs> definitely back with another uh, review. All right, y'all guys. Bye.